Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 4th of July 2019 and the time has just gone 9.50 British summer time. And this week's Chart of the Week is Brent Crude Oil. And taking a look at the wider view, from late December 2018 up until April 2019 we saw a sizable rally uh, in the oil market. Uh, but since then uh, it's had a fairly decent move to the downside and it began in, in late April it began a nice series uh, of lower lows and lower highs and we can see here that uh, the market when it, when it pressed higher um, in, uh, in, in, late, in, in late June into, into early July we can see that it ran into resistance at this red line here the truly moving average which comes into play at 67 spot 22 and the question we need to ask ourselves in this video is is your market going to turn up as it's drifted lower is your market going to continue to press lower and retest these lows and if they take off those lows are we going to see further multi-month lows or are we going to see a continuation of the wider trend that's been in place throughout 2019 so if you do manage to get a drive on lower from here we could be looking at retesting the recent lows which come into play around 60 spot 30 and if you break below that and if you break below the psychology board 60 bucks per barrel we could be looking heading back down towards this area here uh, in a 50, 50, 56 spot 71. Uh, any move to the upside uh, might run into resistance in this red line here, the truly moving average, as it's acted at resistance in the past, it might act as resistance in the future, and that comes into play at 67 spot 22. Uh, a move beyond that could take us up toward this area here in, a, uh, in the, the late May high in a 70 spot 60 spot, spot 70 spot 63. And if you go beyond that, we could then begin to think that you know what, maybe. This downward trend that began in it, between April and, uh, and June has come to an end and we could be looking at continuing the wider upward trend that's been in place throughout 2019. That is, if, if you take out uh, the late May highs and if you go beyond that, that level there, we could be looking at uh, targeting this area here, the mid May highs in around 63 spot 60. Sorry, apologies, 73, 73 spot 60. Now, uh, if you are going to be trading Brent crude oil, it's worth keeping an eye on what's going on on WTI. So West Texas Intermediate, uh, the price action has been fairly similar. Uh, after a major rally up until late April, we've seen a fairly sizable sell-off. And we can notice here that on WTI, <coughs> it did manage to trade above its respective 200-day moving average, but it's now fallen back below its 200-day moving average. And while WTI and Brent crude oil both remain below the respective 200 day moving average, it's more like it's, it's, it increased the likelihood of both markets um, pushing lower. Dow theory tells us that the averages must confirm each other, and which essentially means markets markets that are similar should be kind of moving in, in, in a similar direction. So if, while both markets remain below their respective 200 day moving average, it's likely we could see uh, further pressure to the downside in both markets. Now, if you are going to be trading uh, Brent crude oil, uh, please remember that today is the 4th of July, so it's a, US, so it's a holiday in the US, so we're likely to see low trading volumes. Um, tomorrow is the 5th of July, which is, which is going to be <clears throat> the non-farm payrolls event, which could see an increase in volatility depending on how, how the numbers come in. Speaking of non-farm payrolls, my colleague Michael Hewson is holding a live webinar uh, tomorrow at 13.15 uh, British Summer Time. If you go to our website, cmcmarkets.com, and under Learn, and under Webinars and Events, you can sign up for that live webinar there. And finally, um, if you have any comments to make in this video, or any of the videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. Thank you very much.